Hi, welcome back to Consign Pro Training. Uh, this is Module 6 and I'm Brian and today we're going to take a look at the options available above the main menu. Uh, at the very top left corner of your screen you'll see File, Disk, Tools, Scheduler, QuickBooks, etc. Each of these menus contains a bunch of additional features that you won't find elsewhere in the program so it's important that you get to know what's in each menu. Uh, we'll start with the Disk menu. Under Disk we have two options, Backup Database and Restore Database. Uh, clicking Backup Database, by the way, this Backup Database routine also happens during shutdown processing, but you can access it from this menu if you need to. This menu will allow you to backup your database, which is very important. You should do this every single day, uh, either through this window or through this window as it appears during the shutdown screen. Uh, the very first thing you want to select on the screen is the drive you'd like to back up to. It should not be your C drive. That's where your regular database is. If your C drive were to crash, you've got no backup. We're gonna to go to the D drive. The D drive is a portable hard drive that I have connected to my laptop. And when we do that, we can simply click the backup DB button. And basically it's warning us. It's saying this file with the same name already exists. We would like to replace it with a new copy. We'll click yes. And when the window disappears and it doesn't give us any additional error messages, we know that the backup has worked correctly. I'll go back into that window and I'll let you see we've got uh, an option here. Not only can you back up to an external drive on your computer, you can also back up to our server. Uh, checking this box right here will allow you to put in a password. When you put that password in, you can then back up to our server here. Uh, that, will have, that will allow you to, in the event of a crash or a problem with your computer, to call us and we'll help you recover the backup file from our servers here. It's a really neat feature. It's about $6 a month and you can order that at consignpro.com. If you do want to back up your database over your high-speed connection, you have to have an internet connection for that to work. Um, you can back up your database using that high-speed connection to our internet server here. That concludes the backup. Uh, the restore process, uh, if you're going to be working from home or you need to move Consign Pro to a different computer, you'll use the restore process and that is similar to the backup process except it takes data off of a portable drive and it puts it onto your computer versus the opposite. Uh, you should, as I mentioned, you should be backing up each day. Under the tools menu, we've got a whole bunch of choices here. We're going to try to cover most of those today. Apply consigner fees. This screen allows you to uh, take money out of a consigner's account or all consigner accounts or any one of the five or six radio buttons we have here. If we wanted to take money out of all consigner accounts that have available inventory on them, I would click on that radio button and I would say maybe we want to take out $10 for a fee. We could call this an annual fee and we could do this every January 1st. That would take $10 out of all uh, active consigner accounts that have items still on them. Uh, when you do this, it's going to take the money out of the consigner accounts, $10, and put a reason on their account activity screen. You can take money out of an account. You can put money into an account. Uh, this is how you bill your consigners for anything you'd like to bill them as a group for. Clicking the adjust button would do that. It says you have chosen to take $10 from consigners with available items. We'll say yes. And only one account had available inventory on it, so it only updated one account, took $10 out of that account. That's how you can apply fees to your consigners account if you want to charge them for annual fees um, or anything to that effect. Uh, under here we've got some other options, a couple of destructive features in the program to delete invoices and delete inventory. Uh, by the way, options on this menu will only be available if you're logged on as the store owner. If you're not, most of these options, or a lot of these options will go away. We've got something in here called a physical inventory count, and this will allow you to, uh, if you wanted to, scan all the barcodes for all the items in your store. And then it will present you with a report of items that should be there that aren't there. Um, a lot of people like this. It's a shrinkage report, if you will. Uh, it will tell you what items uh, may have left your store through uh, means other than being sold. To use this screen, we've got some instructions right here. Essentially scan the items. When you click find item, 
It'll tell you whether it's sold, whether it's available, finds it, and then eventually you'll hit the print missing button when you're all done, and it will print a nice report of items that should be in the store that aren't. Some store owners like to do this once a year. Under tools, we also have, uh, let's see, we've got export email addresses and export consigner data. Uh, if you want to take your data out of the Consign Pro program and put it into a mailing tool or some other address book, uh, you can use either of those options. It will create uh, text files on your hard drive. Uh, I think they're comma delimited files. And then you can take those comma delimited files and import those, that data into any other tool that you'd like, whether it be Excel, uh, constantcontact.com for email. Um, there's a whole bunch of tools that you might want to pull your data into. Uh, balance cash drawer. This is a screen that appears every morning when you start the program up. If you have uh, this version and if you have a receipt printer connected to your computer, it's a real easy way to tell the system how much money you have in your cash drawer when you open the, open the day and when you close the day. And it will print a receipt to your star three inch receipt printer upon opening and upon closing and it will tell you how much your cash drawer is short. If you don't see this screen when you open the program, you can look for it on the tools menu. Make sure the use this feature checkbox is checked. That you'll see during opening of Consign Pro if it's checked, and when you exit Consign Pro, you'll see it again. The activity log and usage logs are logs available only to the store owner. Uh, they will show you uh, what's been going on in the system. Uh, the activity log will show things that may have been uh, let's just say not quite right. Uh, somebody rings up a sale and they cancel the sale before taking the money. Uh, if they void an item, it will appear in here. If people delete uh, account activity records, things that may be right in certain instances, but if you're looking for a pattern of behavior for an employee or employees, uh, you'll see who's, who's doing what in here that may be a little bit uh, destructive. The usage log is similar, but it contains who's logging in and out of the system during the day. It tells you what, if you're using our login screen, it'll tell you who's logging in and who's logging out, when Consign Pro was started and when Consign Pro was stopped. It's not a time clock, but if you wanna see who's in the program and when they're in there, what time they open in the morning, what time they close at night, that's a tool that's available to our store owners. Also in this screen, we've got a, bu a button here that says validate accounts. Um, right now, all of our accounts are in balance. Uh, this is checking all of the consigner accounts in the system, and it's trying to see whether the account balance on the consigner screen, which is this balance column here, matches the total of all the activities for that consigner. If the two are in sync, we consider the account in balance. If they're out of sync, then you'll probably want to do some adjusting to get them back in sync. And we've got a fix accounts button, which is light gray right now because we don't have any accounts that are out of balance. If they were out of balance, you could click fix and it would put the accounts back in balance. Also on the tools menu, we've got a couple options to delete invoices and delete inventory. Again, those are just available to the store owner. And most of the time, those features are used with our support people on the phone. That's not a feature that you probably want to use for most things. To Instead of deleting invoice, you'd rather void an invoice through our lookup invoice feature. And instead of deleting inventory, you'd want our shutdown screen to automatically purge old inventory from your database. There are some rare instances uh, where we, we will use those screens with our support people on the phone. Above that, we've got layaways. If you have items on layaway, and I know we don't, you would see a list of layaways here. And this screen can be used to add money to a layaway, uh, remove money, remove items from a layaway, refund a layaway uh, deposit, uh, or basically just look up a layaway and print a report for a customer. So we've got a lot of things on the tools menu. We went through them pretty quickly today, admittedly. They're all described in our user guide if you need some more information. Uh, that probably wraps up our 10 minutes in module six. Uh, module seven, we'll continue going right across the top of the screen here and we'll hit all of these other sub menus. Thank you.